Good morning, Turning Point, and welcome to another week. It is just so great to have you with us again. And this is the start of when we can get together and prepare ourselves for the day it lays ahead. So today, I want you to plan to listen to the reading it comes. Get your Bibles out, follow through, spend some time before God and prepare ourselves. Because see, over this weekend, of course, we heard our Premier announce that now we have to wear face masks. Well, jokingly, I can say it might save some of the ladies some makeup money. But whatever it is, we may or may not enjoy doing that. But we need to do that, which is right. If you're not sure, jump on our website and we've got a page in there about how the coronavirus is affecting us as a church and what we can do. So always have a look on there if you're not sure about things. Also, don't forget, we are here for you always. You can call us, text us. In fact, today, Lilydale Turning Point is running a food support. So if you know people in the area that need help, give them a call. But to stand together is so important. Maybe you can take a challenge this week. Can you contact five people a day? Just encourage them. Send them a text and say you're thinking of them. But one more thing before we head into our reading. This is a week that we're leading up to the CRC Missions Weekend. This coming Sunday, we're going to be looking at a lot of the CRC works, not only just our missions, but others. So stay tuned at the end of this time. We're going to have a test me from some of our mission work but we're going to have a lead up which is going to give us a great understanding what the CRC is doing across this world. Bless you as you enjoy the readings. Good morning, Turning Point Church family. It's so good to see you today. Um, I'm going to take you through Proverbs 29, uh, uh, wherever you are right now. And I just want to focus in on God's opinion of us. What I love about this passage of scripture, and I'll read from verse 16, is that it starts to list off some of the attributes of the world that we're not supposed to be listening to. We're supposed to be listening to God's opinion of us. Let's start at verse 16 of Proverbs 29. It says, When the wicked increase, transgression increases, but the righteous will look upon their downfall. Discipline your son, and he will give you rest. He will give delight to your heart. Where there is no prophetic vision, the people cast off restraint, but blessed is he who keeps the law. By mere words, a servant is not disciplined, for though he understands, he will not respond. Do you see a man who is hasty in his words? There is more hope for a fool than for him. Whoever pampers his servant from childhood will in the end find him his heir. A man of wrath stirs up strife, and one given to anger causes much transgression. One's pride will bring him low, but he who is lowly in spirit will obtain honour. The partner of a thief hates his own life. He hears the curse but discloses nothing. And here's the verse for us today. The fear of man lays a snare, but whoever trusts in the Lord is safe. We see in today's example in the readings that we could look back to Moses and with the Israelites where they were wandering around and there was a lot of naysayers. There were people that were talking against, let's just go back to what we're used to. And we encounter that all through our lives. We encounter people who speak against us, drag us down. We look in these scriptures today and we see the examples of, of when, when we get it wrong. Why would we listen to the people who are so in the wrong? Why don't we focus into what God thinks about us? So today, I would encourage you to focus in on that last verse. Read the whole chapter, but verse 25, don't, don't get caught up in the fear of man. Man gets it wrong so many times, but God is righteous, God is true, God is good, and he's got a good plan for your life. And it says in the rest of that verse, but whoever trusts in the Lord is safe. So church family, be safe today. Be safe in the Lord's presence. Keep on reading through Proverbs 29 and be blessed. We'll see you all soon. Hello, friends, and hello, church. May God bless you. My name is Pastor John from Kenya, Africa, Joro. And God has helped us, and we are still standing. We are still moving on in the Lord. Thank you, friends, for being there for us. Thank you for supporting our students. Thank you for supporting our CRC Bible School. It is doing very well. Our class is doing very well. We have resumed our learning, as well as we have resumed church. And God has helped us. We are going on very well. God is helping us. I just want to take this opportunity, friends, to thank you for standing with us and supporting Kenyan students. They are doing very well. 
They are doing very well under your support. And we really want to appreciate you, Church, for standing in and for helping us, for helping our students learn. We are doing very well, both diploma and certificate. And they are growing. Their churches are doing very well after learning with us. And many of them, they had given up. But after coming and learning with us, they are now back in the ministry. And they are doing very well. So we want to thank you, friends, for helping us and for supporting Kenyan students. They are doing very well. And the good news is God is with us. I know we are passing through hardships, hard times everywhere, but God is helping us. I know very soon it will be over. God is so good and God is so powerful in everything. You can imagine he knows everything even before we know it. Our God is so great. We continue believing in him and trusting in him and what he can do is so powerful. Thank you friends again for supporting us and for standing with us. Greetings from Kenya. God bless you. I love you all. Amen. I'll see you soon.